Okay, so I'm going to try to pronounce this vehicle's name on the first try. And as an American, we tend to, well, bastardize most of the names we say. So you ready for this? The Israeli Gal Batash. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Now, I say it like that because there's always a, that one person out there that's going to say, oh, you pronounced it incorrectly, blah, 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 you know, re-everything. <laughs> but it's, I hope I said it right this time, okay? So that one person out there, I hope you enjoyed it. But anyways, let's talk about the Israeli, well, Gal Batash, a souped-up M60 that is nothing really super special, but it does bring in something that I have been yearning to have in-game, for a very long time. That is the Magash series. Now, the Magash series has been around for some time now, for a couple of years now, but we've never had one kind of like this. Now, sure, we have the M60 MBT, right? Which, in my opinion, is still superior to pretty much every M60 in the game, including the ones coming here, but that may change very soon. Now, let's dive right into this. Actually, I, I did kind of forget this little bit right here. Um, you guys have been super awesome for supporting the channel as of late. I mean, using the 3% discount link. You guys are amazing for that. Uh, tuning into the streams. Our streams have been, look, they've been popping, <laughs> to say the least. You guys have been super awesome about that. Thank you so much. Uh, again, the link to everything, if you guys want to support the channel, um, maybe not monetarily-wise, but just being there is uh well take a look at the description and you have all the information you'll want to write down there and april fools is around the corner so kind of stay tuned for that for the live stream i promise it'll be a lot of fun if it works out the way i want it to but anyways onwards to the actual vehicle itself now what makes this vehicle so incredibly special well a little bit of a historical thing i don't know how accurate this information is but i'm going to do my best to try to outline some of the basics now this I don't know which version of the Magash it is. It could be the 7D or the 8. But what's really weird is that this does have the tracks of the Merkavas, not the regular M60s with the giant uh, kind of uh, weird pads on it. This is the tracks off the Merkava, which is, I guess, pretty nice for the most part. I don't know if it really does help anything, but I guess it kind of uh, is attuned to its environment that it fights in in real life. Uh, aside from that, there really isn't anything that really tells me is this this version. That being, is it just the 6B with buffed up engine and armor, or is it the 7D or the 8? I have no idea. If someone wants to educate me on that, you're more than welcome to do so down in the comments section below. So yeah, there we go. History buffs, enjoy that. But aside from that, what does it really bring to the table in War Thunder? A couple of cool things. Now, this is the first vehicle to feature a quote-unquote new shell type, the M426 which is basically DM-63. I don't know if this was the original one in the game, as was CL-3143, I believe is the export M322, from what I've been told, but I'm pretty sure this might be the original to DM-63, which has been in the game for a couple of years now. As you can see, base pen's pretty good, right? At 9.3, this is pretty damn good firepower that can even deal with the terms frontally, which is something we'll be seeing a lot of. But when it comes to overall protection of the vehicle, that's kind of a hit or miss. But going still into the modules here, laser warning receiver, laser rangefinder, generation one thermal sights. You have to keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it. M111 as a tier one modification. A 9.3, it's not terrible, but it's definitely better than the stock heat FS grind because, come on, at 9.3, 10.3, heat FS in the 105 category really sucks. It does. And when I said this is nothing more but a souped up M60, I wasn't kidding. Take a look at those optics, right? Actually, the gun is right here. Uh, six to 12 times. Okay, maybe that was an incorrect way of going about it. These are actually pretty damn good sights. I, I don't know why I thought it was eight times fixed. I was probably looking at something different. I think the 6B itself, but those are some pretty damn good sights. You do get commander sights two to eight times. I really wouldn't use it, but the commander can operate the main weapon. Also, this is the Sharir Cannon. I don't know if it's based off the M68 or anything, but I, I could be entirely wrong about that. But I'll tell you what, though, this is a very nice platform, but... In typical fashion, I think this is where I meant about the whole M60 stuff. It does have terrible turret traverse, 23 degrees a second. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but vertical targeting speed, 3.8 degrees a second. That is, man, it sucks. You'll feel it, I promise. But aside from that, I can't really tell you too much else because I, I just can't. I, is this Blazer ERA? I think it might say, it doesn't even say it. It's just ERA, right? Nothing to it. Composite armor in the wedges right here. It will not protect you very well against kinetic rounds. Heat rounds, it does a pretty damn good job, but for the most part, kinetic rounds can and will destroy this thing very, very quickly. Also, you do have, um, God, what was this called? The smoke launchers. You have five shots 
of four canisters each. Does that make sense? So you can fire this thing off five times until you, you're depleted. There is no mortar system, plus you get a 50 cal attached to the very top. I don't know why they don't put the 50 cal as a coax. It might just be a, a size thing for the most part because you have the 762 as a coax, and then you have a lot of other 762 at the top of the vehicle. I don't know what it is with the uh, Israeli always having a shit ton of machine guns. Yeah, I'm going to say it like that. There's so many of them, right? Also, mobility is pretty piss poor. 48 kilometers an hour going forward, uh, 8 going in reverse. But for some reason, this vehicle feels very snappy, as you'll see in the game itself. So I guess without further ado, let's take this bad boy out and see, is it worth your time to look into? We'll have to see. But one more thing before we get started. The 6B is really cool. I got to tell you that now. I cannot wait to make a video on this one. A little bit later let's begin paul first game i get a solid down tier i'm terribly surprised but you know what i'm not saying any germans so that means oh yeah 8.3 pumas anyone now granted dm63 is going to tear them a brand new one that i can assure you and i'm gonna do my best to whoop their ass if i can but no promises now i did bring 20 rounds uh, some may say that's quite a bit but as you can see right here Oh, man, I'll be honest. I really don't like the way it's situated in front of the loader right here because that's that's where you want to shoot at. Like, that's that's how you want to kill this damn thing easily. But most players like to aim for the turret face for whatever reason, but I guess it is effective. But anyways, let's try to uh, let's try to bully him a little bit, shall we? By the way, these sights, they're pretty damn good. I'll take it. I hear something. Oh, it might be the uh, Puma. Yeah, uh... Hold up. Oh, I hear him. He's directly in front of us. Yeah, he's uh Oh yeah, that's 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 a scary sight. <laughs> or a scary sound, excuse me. Uh oh, oh 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 he's popping up! Nice try, buddy. Come on. I know how to kill Pumas in this thing. <laughs> just give me a dart and I'll kill it. Uh I just don't want to show my sides. Two said Pumas. I like that. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. All right, so now is hitting him. We're loaded. Can't, can't see, can't see. Oh, he broke something. Oh, <gasps> you son of a bitch. All right, yeah, he got a lucky shot on my uh, vertical stabilizer. I'm leaving now to repair. Whoa, why, hello. <laughs> what the hell was that? Was that a missile? I, I think that was him. Oh, okay. Uh... Look at that, my ERA did nothing. You know what's funny? He probably shot off the ERA, was able to kill a crew member, but my vertical stabilizer is broken again? I, I, I'll i be honest, I've never had it break that often. That's rare. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you are. This guy, this little guy just killed a, uh, a teammate of mine. Now, unfortunately, I have, uh, I have a really, really big forehead on this thing. Okay, we don't have the Commandos Capola, and they got him, beautiful. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell that was that killed my teammate just a couple of seconds ago. But I, I was kind of hoping to show you guys a little bit more gameplay. But unfortunately, most of them decided to kind of leave after the first and second death. So, I mean, it's not a good start. I'll tell you that now. But one thing I do want to say before we go ahead and jump over to the next clip is this camo pattern. This skin is a custom user made skin by Lichtenstein. If you guys don't know who he is, he is a huge supporter of the channel. I support his work too by well, doing this and the, the guy's amazing. And if you guys want to have this skin, which is beautiful, by the way, a uh, link to it will be down in the description below. And uh, please remind me if I forget, because I always forget to put the links to this stuff down there. <laughs> Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get to the next one, shall we? Hey, buddy, I'm a better version of you. And we're fully up to it, by the way. We are at 10.3. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's amazing how the Israeli, they, uh, they take whatever they have and they repurpose it and make it so much better oh that, that's not good um what shot you dude uh oh it's that guy a chally 2 is very dangerous just saying they've got or excuse me a chally mark 2 is very dangerous but can i get them maybe gotcha commander gunner engine oh really good shot on this guy and another boot please Thank you. Oh, it's Russian Rainbow. He's a he's a friend of ours. Nice to see him again. Anyways, uh, yeah. I forgot where I was going at. So let's just uh, let's make this good. <laughs> huh? Oh, hi. Bye. 
yeah, our team is uh, is doing really, really well right now. As you can obviously see, we're pushed up pretty much to their damn spawn. But I kind of want to catch these guys from the sides a little bit. Not be super distant, but... Ooh. Oh, I hear them. I'm coming, boys. Wait for me. Wait, hey, hey, hold up, striker. Don't knock out somebody yet. Wait for me. Oh, this vertical targeting speed sucks. Come on, I want in. Hold, oh. Um. Ouch. Oh, yeah, definitely an ouch. Uh, give me a second here. Hey, buddy. I see you. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no. Hey, buddy. Does he have his gun up? He doesn't. Hold up. Right here. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, yeah, this game's over. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't want it to look like I'm spawn camping here because that's this is not my intention here. Hold up. Sorry. All right, let's go take the Charlie point, shall we? Oh. Hi. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Poor little little, little Gapard. Alright, on oh, they took the trolley point. Of course. Alright, yeah, I'm sorry guys. I kinda wanted to make this a little bit more aggressive, but I kinda felt spawn campy a little bit, so Oh great, I can already hear the comments kind of freaking the hell out right now. Alright, alright. Aha! I remember what I was saying at the very beginning, because I had a total brain fart. Uh, Israel, they know how to repurpose all their vehicles, right? They take the M60s, they make them to these, they, 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 they send them out or they do everything themselves. I'm pretty sure they do it themselves and just make it so much better. Better fire control system, better firepower, better, uh, uh, better barrel, everything breach. Everything you would find is pretty much, they take what they've got, they make it so much better and then they export that to other nations. You know the Tehrans were exported? I had no idea about that. Imagine that, you steal... Uh, you capture enemy technology, you repurpose it, fix it up, make it better, and then sell it. That's such an insult. <laughs> or you give it away, I think, is what it was. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this game's over, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get off to, uh, I guess, the next one, shall we? So would you guys believe me if I said that I just had a really good game, but I forgot to hit that record button? I kid you not. I thought I hit it, but I hit a different button on my uh, stream deck. To record and i was oh i was so angry with myself and i looked at the footage and it was only 15 seconds oh. <laughs> anyways uh we're gonna pull down to here i did bring a couple extra rounds because i do want to thank these guys oh, oh that was df how the hell did you get there so fast all right uh yeah i'm gonna try to snipe a little bit but i think i might just push forward yeah we might well, sniping uh, didn't really seem to work out quite well, so my butt's gonna move behind the uh, Reichstag, is it? Yes. And, oh, oh, hold up. One front. Do we have more? Oh, I hear him. No, right side's clear. Okay, come here. Oh, oh. Is that a. I think I know what that is. Hello, little Puma. Goodbye, little Puma. Oh, he was. Uh, he's clever. He's a smart player, but didn't really wor uh, work out too well in the end. Sorry, dude. This. Come on, pivot. Thank you. Ah, uh, leopard. Gotcha. <laughs> L44. Ah, that's right. We're playing amongst the premiums. Yeah. Trust me, 9.0, guys, is not exactly an area you want to be in because it, it's just riddled with premiums. Gotcha. There's another Puma. Oh, there we go. That's a spawn, isn't it? And again. There's loader driver, another bagel. Yep, we're looking right into their spawn. Sorry, dude. Come on, fire, fire, fire. Gotcha. I got him. Hmm. Yep. Oh, hey. What's up? Can't see, can't see. Can't see. He tracked me. Come on. Going for his gun. He's smart, though. I'll give him that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, I wish I had heat rounds. Go for his ammo. There we go. Oh, no! Oh, I'm both. Uh, come on, is that a weasel? No. Come on, come on. Sorry, I got a backup of anything. Let's go, let's go. And we're fixed? No, we're not. My engine's gone. Hmm. This isn't good. Don't do it. There he is. I said don't do it. <laughs> he's just looking at him like, oh, what do I do now? Yeah, he's, he can't do nothing. His ammo's gone. He's got to rearm. So, sorry, buddy. You're no threat to me. We're back up. 
I want to get that Puma really badly. You know what? I deserve that. I was looking at their spawn. I deserve that. So let's bring it back up and let's snipe a little bit. Yeah, about the whole sniping thing, uh, it didn't really fit too well. Uh, well, at least we got him, but you know what that is, ladies and gentlemen. That's an LOL. Hold up, I can put out the fire. I gotta intercept that missile. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Intercept. Intercept, please. Intercept. Intercepted. Woo. Maybe. Oh, someone got him. V, you are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Ugh. <laughs> I gotta love the 50 cal on top of the 7.62. It's so nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we outnumber them. We control the entire field, so it's time to push them into their spawn and kind of wipe them out. Now, before you start getting on my ass about it, remember, they're spawn camping and spawn pushing. This is the latter of the two. So let's find them and let's see. I got no one right there, but I should be running into one right now. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad habit of doing, of not doing that, if that makes sense. Adjusting your sights. Come on, I want that Gepard. Come on, there you are. Oh. Stop moving! There we go. Ooh. Oh. Yep, I deserve that. Pop and smoke. Leaving. I'm leaving. Nope, you cannot have me, buddy. Sorry. Hold up. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm sorry, this, this is bully, but come on. Everyone here is just doing it, all right? So oddly enough, I have not seen this map in quite some time, and it kind of brought another map into mind, which is Belarus. Now, ever since the whole Russian invasion of Ukraine happened, they not only removed the, uh, the chat, but they took away that map from rotation. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and make this one good. I did bring a couple extra rounds because I will be sniping and I think we're in a down tier. I didn't really pay attention to be honest. Oh, Puma. I don't want to laze him. Not yet. Not until I have a clear shot. No, of course I'm also going to do it. I need a clear shot at him. All right, you know what? Let's go for his ammo. Whoa, hold up. He's giving me a shot. Going for his engine. Or I can just kill him instead. That works too. You gotta, you gotta think about that when you uh, engage Pumas, especially when they're, they're in a hole down. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep sniping. There we go. Ooh, those are far. Can I hit this guy? Oh. <laughs> come on, come on. Keep going that way. Keep going that way. There you go. Gotcha. Come on. That was a good shot. 1,700 meter shot. Perfect. There's a second target I want to go ahead and hit, but I don't think he's uh, dumb enough to poke up. We'll have to see. But yeah, we're, uh, you know, to be honest, I have no idea where everyone's at. Oh, no. Is that an Alouette just hovering there? There. Hey there. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I just put a Sable in that, in that pilot's face. That is a major yikes. Uh, let's be honest. Those things, they're little bastards. So he earned that. Oh. oh. Well, we know what that sound is. That is the sound of a puma who just killed an IT-1 right in front of me. So let's go ahead and avenge our teammate. Knock this guy out and uh, not get shot by that SPAA. So I'm going to pop smoke. <laughs> ah, there you are. Hey, little Puma, how you doing? Yeah, I know you can you can keep breaking everything, buddy, but don't don't worry, I'm coming for you. Now I gotta keep my armor front. I cannot angle for anything. Come on. Oh, I think he knows. Hold up. He, yeah, he knows what's up. Gotcha. Got his horizontal. He did knock out my loader though. All right, he's got to fix up a little bit. He's boned. Come on. Yeah, yeah I know. I get it. You've got all the speed. I'm coming to get you, buddy. There you are. I know what you're doing. Nice try. Very nice. You know what's funny? I don't understand how that can go through our front like that. Just, I mean, it goes to show the M60s, huh? All right, anyways, we avenged our IT-1. Let's see if we can take the B point, apparently. What? Oh, regret, regret, regret. 
wait, 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 wait. Oh. Ugh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, my demise. So, not exactly the first time I've done this. Anyways, if you guys don't mind me, I'm going to uh, just kind of chill out here and get a, uh, a belly tan. Oh, in the shade. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> Several bad puns later. Physics, 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 physics makes no sense in this game. Hey, I unflipped myself. That made no sense. But you know what? I'll take it. I saved myself. <laughs> ah, this guy's going to be annoying, isn't he? All right, let's snipe him. Well, I'm going to have a wild feeling and say that was some sort of helicopter or Puma? It was a helicopter. It's always got to be a helicopter that kills me when I'm playing Israel. Well, I can't exactly say that was a very thrilling last game, but what I can say is the Galbatash is a brilliant vehicle, so much so that I would go as far as to say it is right behind the AMBT M60. Now, if you guys know that vehicle, it is the best M60 in the game at a very appropriate BR. I mean, think about this. You got a 120, you got a KEW, and you have good speed, I mean, very good mobility, good optics. Gen 2 thermal sights at 9.7. That's absurd, right? At least when it comes to the Gabatash, it does make up for a lot in a little bit more protection and relatively decent firepower. That DM63 equivalent or the M456, what is the, the M426, excuse me, is very capable. DM63 in general is very capable. The spalling is a little unusual with it, as you kind of noticed with the Pumas, but for the most part, it will get the job done. The optics are absolutely brilliant. Six to 12 times was a pleasure to play in this M60 platform, and it really does hold its own very well, but, and there is always that but. This is another M60. All the M60s play exactly the same. They're relatively slow with the exception of the AMBT, their armor isn't the greatest, their optics are generally very bad, vertical targeting speed, there are very few 105s that can have really good targeting speed, which is unfortunately not existent for this vehicle, and uh, reverse rate is piss poor, but aside from that, you do have a very large surface area up here, which is full of your crew members, uh, your breach, etc. The breach isn't quite easy to knock out, as, as I kind of thought it would have been otherwise, but you still have a very large area to where you can lose a lot of crew members. So would I recommend this as your go-to vehicle as a start? I would say 60-40, yes. You should definitely play this. Besides, it's the end game for the Magashes right now. I'm super excited to have the 6C, the 7C, etc. Like, there are so many of these variants you can have in here, right? More Tehrans as well, and just the Israeli tech tree is still in closed access. This is the bare bone tree, and for what it offers is pretty damn good for the most part. So yes, I recommend this vehicle, not by a long shot, but definitely one you should look into because again, it looks aggressive, it plays decently well, and does require a bit of a learning curve to get it right. Besides, the skin on this thing, Lichtenstein, bro, you really outdid yourself on this one. This thing looks amazing. I know you watch these, I know you watch them all the way through, and this is... Well done, dude. I will have his link down below in the description if you guys want to go ahead and support him with this. And speaking of which, if you guys want to support me, you know everything down there, right? The Patreon, the War Thunder affiliate, and my live streams over on Twitch. Link is down there as per usual. And that's all I got for you. Oh, boy. Sorry. I did have a long day. So thank you guys so much for checking this out. I'm going to go ahead and end it just right here, right now. I'll see you guys not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. Happy grinding, guys. Oh, man, it feels really good to have a new nation to grind. Until next time.